Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and there it is. I want to show you something. Oh my god, the Bath and Body Works. I went, I went to the semi-annual sale for Bath and Body Works and it actually started on June 8th. And I'll tell you a little tale. And this is the truth though. On uh, the week before, Friday, Friday, yeah, the week before, um, the Friday before Monday, June 8th, uh, I had gone in the store, I wanted to sniff the Lighthouse Collection candles, I did, and I heard my manager talking about what was going to happen on Monday, and he said, yes, I knew the SAS sale started online a couple of days before for the weekend, because you know they do that, Yankee did it, they did it, but he said that the store was going to open at 9 o'clock on Monday. So I actually got in to see it early. I was happy. Also, I probably talk a lot and say thank you and please and may I. And maybe that's how I got in. It's a possibility. So I went there Monday, early in the morning, 9 o'clock before the mall officially opens. You can still walk around in the mall because people who work there, of course, have to get into the mall to, you know, open their own stores. But the, generally, the stores are closed but Bath and Body Works opened early. So it was good to be invited because I got to see things before the rush hour came in. And I was really lucky in one sense. And I thought about something else. I'm gonna tell you the truth. In one sense, I went in with the anticipation, with the expectations, with everything. All of us did thinking that they're gonna put in a lot of great sales and they're gonna put those boxes with fantastic things and we're gonna find some treasures that we never thought we would ever think we would ever find so much but alas it is not to be told no we didn't get all the things but there were some things that I did find now did I go after the lighthouse collection candles yes I did I did get a couple uh, Nantucket sale I did get this Nantucket sale one and I sniffed it on Friday as I mentioned and it smells like mint's cologne no lie sail away with the blend of ocean wash driftwood sea air and grapefruit definitely smells like men's cologne and then this one the lighthouse collection or just the lighthouse in red i got this one as well and this one says a beacon of beautiful fragrance for your home in a blend of sea glass sea foam and sparkling sand i will assure you sea glass has no scent but that's all right but i did get this one and i like this one too very very light fragrance nothing strong the covers are pretty that i have to admit the covers are really pretty but those are the only two i think there's seven in total that i thought were interesting i did have from the christmas sas sale they had some bits and pieces of this sale before the candles were the same candle you know the the what do i call them paper dolls you know different colors same fragrance so i still had a beach cabana which is part of this collection left so i wasn't gonna go crazy with it but here is my special find. I love finding things. These little guys. I did find the little guys. These are the tester candles. These are the things that they put in front of the wallflowers so a person can sniff them without opening a wallflower. I've opened up wallflowers. I don't care. Oh, yes, I have. Um, but I did get some of these and I found a lot. In fact, they probably had 25 of these little things and I took a lot of them. I was there early. I got lucky. This one is the scent fresh and it's blue uh, spring blue skies. I do have it in a three wick. Fantastic candle. It is blue. All these, even though you see them, I think pink lemonade comes pink. I'm not too sure. But this one is white and it's nothing but a tester and it's four ounces. But the best part about these little guys is that they burn uh, 20 to 30 hours. This is worth two dollars and fifty cents. So my thought is $2.50, 20 to 30, great burn time. So I got fresh and I like this fragrance. As I said, I did burn it. I do have it. It's a fantastic scent. Um, I don't have it here. I have more. I just didn't pull them all out. Sparkling Limeade. I found this one. I actually got four of these. I like this scent. I got it in a medium scented candle and I liked it a lot. It smells like green. Uh, like citruses and green grasses. It's really a pretty scent, but I got four of them. So 250 each. So they were great and I don't have it here I don't know why I know I got 
Copacabana coconut or that one. I do have it too. Um, I don't know why it's not here. Fantastic scent. So, and I did get lavender linens, which is actually, this is Relax from the same collection. And it's lavender linens and there it is purple. So some of them are different colors, but again, these are tester candles. You know, it's hilarious with the tester candles. On the normal, you can't buy them unless they have them on a super sale or an SAS sale. Yet you can't buy them, but they always have a price tag of 10 bucks. Why? But 250. So in total, I got two of these, four limeades, one Copacabana coconut, and, um, and the fresh candle. I made out really, really well. So, I think I got 12 in total. So I did practically wipe them all away. I got there early. That's my only excuse. Others are going, confound you. No, it's, I just got there early. So I got, this was my treasure as far as going into the sales to see if I can get anything good. I didn't go crazy with um, the body care as well as I wish I could have gone crazy with it. I did get some things which I have to return. Driftwood Surf, I bought two of them. I love the fragrance yet unfortunately, this is the, the uh, foaming soap. I bought two of these and when I started to use one, and yes I did start to use one, I know it's really weird because I love their foaming soaps over the other ones. I think the ones with the little beads in them. Every time I use the ones with the little beads in them, they're too rough for my skin. Maybe it's me, but it's just too abrasive for me. So I love the foaming soaps. Yet strangely enough, this one, Driftwood Surf, maybe I was using it all day. I was doing some housework and I kept using this stuff my hands started getting dry so I don't know if it's just this fragrance because I've never had any problems with the foaming soaps but this one did not do well by me so I am actually going to switch it tomorrow I'm going to switch it for another one that I got which I like and then this thing I did get this too mahogany teakwood bath gel you know it's really weird because I was rushing through the store because it was early in the morning and I knew you you know I had to get to work and I'm rushing and I'm at, I'm at that point thinking the candles ah they're okay yeah I got the two lighthouse candles but I'm not gonna go crazy and the body care is nice and it's really good but I have enough I have back gels I probably have enough to last maybe a year and yes I do take showers and baths please but I'm rushing and when I rushed I picked this one out mahogany teakwood and I think I'm gonna switch this one out too because it, I like men's cologne I do but this is such a strong scent that I'm probably gonna switch it out maybe for juniper berry because this is one of their classic ones if not I'll just put it towards something else so yeah I, I'm gonna switch things out can you imagine I bought them and I'm switching them already but that's okay because my sales assistants are aware and they know and they said, don't worry, just bring bring it in, we'll take care of everything. I pay the difference if something costs more. Now, today I walked into the store, and there's a tale that I have to tell you. I walked into the store only because, and I wasn't going to go, I was only going to do a switch. That's it. I was, gonna, I was going to try to behave and not do anything. But I noticed something online, um, and it was new, and then I saw Bad Enabler, and Scent Maven, hi, I know they mentioned this, and I said, wait a second, I see it online, and I see it, and, the, and you know, Bad Enabler and Scent Maven, Tron, hi, how are you doing, how, how are you, anyway, I saw them mention this, here it is, people, American Apple Candle, and this collection, and I wanted to smell it, and I wanted to see it, and I went into the store to smell this one in particular, American uh, American Apple Candle, which is, I think, I don't know, I know this is a repackage of something. Again, I'm not an expert of, you know, Bath and Body Works people. I know you, you know what this is, but I know it's not wasabi apple, of course not. And I know it's not apple orchard, I don't think so. I don't know what it is, but it's a something, something. And I'm going to read you the scent description. Uh, let this dazzling blend of juicy apple, white oak, and pear blossom be the star of your 4th of July celebrations. 
This one was in the store for $12. It's limited edition. It's three wick. It's 14 and a half ounces. It smells really good. It doesn't, I don't really like um, their apple fragrances. I think sometimes they smell sort of like off-putting. Not, I like Yankee Candles apple fragrances, but not too much um, Bath and Body Works, but this smelled a little bit crispy, like crisp, not as, like a sweet Macintosh apple. It smelled really good. So, and the label is so pretty, and it was 12 bucks, and I figured, oh, what the heck. Oh, by the way, that first haul that I did was $40. I got $10 off. I should have mentioned it, but I got $10 off of this one. This is haul two, haul two. Um, so I got this for $12. I wanted to get another candle, a candle that I was used to. So there's one, Oceanside. I did get Oceanside. I did burn this. I do, I did like it. It smells pretty good. And this one, Oceanside, a blend of sun ripened citrus, juicy melon, ocean air, brings you to a perfect day on the shore. This was actually a really nice candle. And they only had a few of them. And I really wanted Island Waters, but it was gone. But I figured I'd get this one. And this was $11.25. This was $12. Now, now the good stuff begins. American Apple, to continue with the limited edition collection, American Apple Bath Gel. I did get this, the shower gel. And it mentions the same thing. Oh, it just says afternoon picnics, a fairy tale. Afternoon picnics, dazzling fireworks, an unforgettable 4th of July, enjoy endless sunshine with mouth watering inspired by the great American summer. And the key notes, I should have read that instead of the other thing. Washington apple, lemon blossom, sheer sunlight, American oak, and sparkling musk. Now apparently Bath and Body Works feels that sea glass, which is in here, has scent and so does sheer sunlight. No, they have a feeling and I've seen actually sea glass. It's very pretty if you can find it along the beach. Um, but sheer, sheer sunlight actually feels fantastic. But there it is. So I got this. And here's the thing, people, because there's a tale about this. I have to tell you two tales, two things, two things I want you to be aware of. In the store, this is $7. In the store, there was like a little sign that said $7. But at lunch break, I looked at this and it said $6. So I went to the cash register girl or the, the manager and I said, how come, may I ask, may I ask how come online or in the store you have it for $7 and online you have it for $6? And it rang up at the register $6. So just be aware, my store had this mark, you know, those little signs, seven bucks, but when it rings up, it's supposed to be six bucks. So just in case, just an FYI, but here's another thing. So I got this. And then, and then I got the bath foams. Yes, I did. The matching American apple bath foams. And I love the color. It's red. It's foaming. I love the foaming ones. The picture on these things is so pretty. The flag and an apple. And I think, I know there's something really pretty. It's just a bucket with two flags in it, but it's really such a beautiful picture. So I have this, and again, the Washington Apple, and Mouth Watering, and Picnic. This was in the store marked for, I think, either $325 or $350. But, but online, online it's selling for $3. So, $3, so there you go, people. So check online, because at lunch break, as I said, I checked the price of this, I checked the price of this, and I said, how come the prices are different? How come it's more? But when I asked, um, I mentioned it to my sales assistant. She goes, no, we'll give it to you for $3 because online it says $3. So people, watch for it. Check the online price because th I paid 3 bucks for this. I'm not paying no three twenty five dollars or three fifty dollars if I know the price is different. You know I'm going to fight. No, I'm not going to fight. I'm just going to ask. You have to be nice. So <laughs> there it is. So I bought two of these. $3 a piece, candle $12, the bath gel $6, not $7. Back up, I got this one. I like this bath gel, white lily and lime. It smells so good, it really does. I think this was 325 
So I got this. And to make up for the $40 because it has to be, I had the $10 coupon, it has to be um, $40 without tax. So I had to get something else. So what did I reach for? What everyone reaches for. These little antibacterial gels that you put in your purse. These are so cute. Again, with the limited edition apple fragrance. So I got two of them. They were $1.25 each. So that brought me to my 41 bucks, and then I used $10 off. So I got a lot of great things for, for I think it came out to tax and 33 bucks, something like that. I think I did well, and I want to burn this candle. I know, again, I know many of you, please just put it on my website. I have no, or my, my um, channel, what the true name of this is. It smells like Macintosh apple, but it's a kind of apple that I actually like from them. It smells good. I hope it burns. I have one of these on hold, limited edition. They only put a few per store, but I have one of these on hold at the store. I'm going to burn it today, see if it smells good. And then tomorrow I'll go back and and get it. And um, that's what I'm going to do. But it smells really good. It just smells like Macintosh apple. And that's all. So did I do well? I, I think I did well. I did two $40 hauls, $10 off. I did, oh, I think I did well. Especially I was lucky enough to get these little guys. And it's very hard to get the little guys, the, the little um, tester candles for $2.50. It's awesome because the last time I got them they were four dollars so 250 for one please so I did as I said four of these sparkling limeades smells so good anyway I think I did pretty well and I'm gonna keep an eye out for everyone else's haul and all the other hauls I'm gonna see and thank you for watching and don't forget to comment like and subscribe and take care bye bye